I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on interesting questions. Here is a question which seems to be very simple but is really difficult to answer. The question is area of a triangle is 1 cm square. Find possible perimeters of the triangle. Right? Now, for a junior middle school student, it becomes very difficult to answer this question. And even for a senior high school student, they may think about it from where to start. Now, if you are given this question, how will you answer? Take it as an open question to answer. As an extension, you can also find the triangle with minimum perimeter. So let's add one more dimension to this. Find minimum perimeter. of triangle with area 1 cm square. Okay, so if I add this to it, it becomes really very difficult, right? Now there are a few easy ways to do or to go about. What we really know about it is that area of triangle is half base into height, right? So we know the formula area of triangle is half base times height. Now some of you can also think about the triangle within a rectangle. So I could say that let this be my rectangle and if area of rectangle is 2 then area of triangle is 1, correct? So that is to say, if I take a rectangle whose base is 2 and height is 1 centimeter, in that case, any rectangle I make will have area of how much? Area of 1 centimeter square. Do you see that? So this triangle, rectangle, which has area of 2 cm square, will have a triangle with area of 1 cm square. So all these triangles within this particular rectangle will have area of 1 cm square. Do you agree with me? Area of Triangle is just half. Perfect. Now, if you have this kind of a situation, you can find perimeter also. You get an idea. So, what you see here is that there are many solutions. All triangles shown here have area of 1 cm square. Since they are within a rectangle, whose area is 2 cm square with same base and height. Perfect. So that is one approach to this problem. Now, let's get to the specific one here where we'll now measure the perimeter also. Now, finding perimeter of this kind of a triangle is very difficult, but it is simpler to consider a right triangle. So as a special case, what I will do now here is consider right triangle. So let's take two cases. One, a right triangle like this shown here. So we have one right triangle whose height is one centimeter and base is 2 centimeters. So we have this 2 centimeter and 1 centimeter. It is a right triangle. So what is going to be the hypotenuse? Well, we can apply Pythagorean theorem, right? It 
and we know this third side which we say hypotenuse is equal to square of these add them 2 square plus 1 square and then square root correct that gives you the hypotenuse which in our case is going to be 4 plus 1 5 square root so we can use calculator to find approximate value of square root of 5 it is irrational number which could be written as 2 point let's say 2 one decimal place is enough so this side becomes 2.2 centimeters for us now we can find the perimeter so the perimeter is what perimeter is sum of all the sides so it is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 2.2 which is 5.2 right so we have found for one case now let's consider another case just to compare what happens when we change length and width of our triangle so here is a very very special triangle for you let me draw it here in this triangle I'm going to take hypotenuse as 1. If I take hypotenuse as 1, in that case, what could be these sides? Well, um, so that is one thing very critical to figure out. Okay, let's start with this. Let's take these dimensions as square root 2 and square root 2. Then this side will be square of these, add them together and then find the square root. Is that okay? So let's not take 1. It becomes complicated. Let's start with this. We want product of length and width as 2, right? Then area is half. So in this triangle, what is the area? Area is half of square root 2 times square root 2. Now square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So we get this as 1. Okay. So again, we do have a triangle whose area is 1. Now let's find what the hypotenuse is. So in this case, hypotenuse is square of these two and square root. So square of square root is the number two itself. Right? So what do we get? We get this as four square root, which is two. So we get hypotenuse as two centimeters. Now, if I add perimeter to find all the sides, what is the perimeter? Perimeter is equals to 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Let's see how much it is. So it is 2 plus square root 2 plus square root 2. It is equals to in decimals 4.82. Now, if you compare the results which we got earlier, the perimeter earlier was 5.2 centimeters and now it is 4.8 centimeters. Which one is smaller? So, this is much smaller. Do you see that part? Correct. So, what we notice here is that the, if we have same sides of length and height in a right triangle, we get maximum area for smaller perimeter, right? Or for a given area, we get least perimeter, correct? So this exercise helps you to understand that we get least perimeter
for isosceles right triangle what you could do is you could try with some more numbers and verify you will find that the minimum perimeter for one square centimeter area of a triangle will be 4.82 centimeters as calculated now let us summarize our learnings we began with area of a triangle being 1 cm square to find such triangles it is important to make a rectangle with 2 cm square right so here we say rectangle area equals to 2 cm square so you could make many rectangles with 2 cm square this is probably the simplest one one side being 2 the other one being 1 any triangle within this rectangle as shown here will have area of 1 cm square now you can make a table and find perimeter for all these triangles you will notice that it is difficult to find perimeter for triangles which are not right triangles therefore I took example with right triangles so if I have two as one side and one as the other side in a right triangle I can use Pythagorean theorem to find the third side a square plus b square is c square right so we know Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square equals to c square so we can find c as square root of some of the other two sides so 2 square plus 1 square square root gave me the hypotenuse in this case it was 2.2 centimeters now we can add 2.2 with 1 and 2 to find perimeter as 5.2 for the given right triangle we tried some other triangles this one here which had hypotenuse of 2 centimeters and the legs of square root 2 will also give us area of 1 square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 divided by 2 is 1 in this case we calculated the perimeter to be 4.8 which is much lower than the previous one in fact isosceles right triangle will give you minimum perimeter so that is our learning from this particular video I hope that helps now this learning can help you answer many difficult questions in multiple choice test papers I hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great thanks for watching and all the best